Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. So in our last video, we had seen that how to copy that uh, Oracle C date report into the custom folder for the customization. And today we are going to see that how to download that report or how to make the changes into the template or the data model. So for this, I just have to go to my Oracle Fusion instance first. So I am on my Oracle Fusion instance. So before starting, I just want to say you that if you are new on my channel, please like, share, subscribe my channel. If you want to learn the Oracle Fusion from starting, you can find all the respective videos in my Fusion playlist for the reference. So continue to the topic. So we have to do the customization. So I already told you that how to copy the CDAD report till the custom folder. You can check the part one for it. And in this part two, we will download that report first okay so for downloading that report what i have to do i have to just go to the xmlp server link so here is my xmlp server link so i have to just click on this catalog and i have to go till the location where custom report is there so where is our custom report so in shared folder we are having custom and in customs we are having the financials so under financials we are having receivables so I'm just clicking on the receivables. Then after we are having the bill presentments. So I'm just clicking on this bill presentment. So here we are having invoice print template. So I'm just clicking on this edit button. So as soon as I clicked on the edit button, it will open one template window in front of us. So here these are the lot of template which are already uploaded over here. So this is the default one. So for downloading this default template, I have to click on the edit button. So as soon as I click on edit, so it will download the default template. So I'm just opening that respect to default template. So you can see that this is my default template. So what it is happening and this is the vision logo and the other details. Okay. So I'm just opening the PDF copy of my report also. So this is the report. So he it is having also the vision that PO box and all the things. So what we will do. I am just going to replace this vision image with the Oracle image. So I am just deleting this vision image and I am just pasting the Oracle image. Okay. So I am just minimizing it. So I had saved that report. So what we have to do, we have to upload that template now. So here is an option to add new layout. Okay. So one thing I have to tell here. So if we click on this add layout, so it will show me one error message that is a data model does not contain the sample data please edit data model and save with the sample data okay so here there is a no sample data that's why it is showing me this error message so first of all what we have to do we have to save the sample data for that we have to go to the data model okay so i am just clicking on the data model so here is the data model screen but here also we are having one issue. What was that issue? So here we have to pass some respective parameter for saving the data. Okay. So here is my all the data model. Suppose I'm going to data and here I'm just clicking on view. So when I clicked on view, so what it is showing me see Oracle XDO servlet dot data dot data except. So these are the data exceptions means we have to provide this mandatory parameter so it is really bulky so we can't do this task easily so we can't do this so we are having one alternate method for this so what we have to do we have to just go back to the oracle xmlp server catalog window so i'm just going back to the catalog then we have to go to the same location custom under custom we are having the financials under financials again there is an receivables under receivables we are having the bill presentment and here is my invoice print template i have to just click on the edit again so on the same window what we have to do so here we have to click on view a list okay then here we can see that all the respective template which are already over there and this is my default template which is having the default layout so here is the one plus icon so we have to click on that plus icon only and by using this upload utility we have to upload so i'm just giving the name as xx underscore invoice okay and we have to upload the template so i had uploaded the template 
and here we have to choose the template type so it is an rtf template so we have to choose the rtf and the locale so my locale is english so i am just selecting here english and i will click on the upload button so as soon as we click on the upload button it will start uploading so once the template will get upload we can see in the existing template list so you can see that my xx invoice this is my template and which is uploaded now again i am clicking on the view a list so here the default template is this so i am just unchecking this respect to default template and i am just checking this my template as the default and i will click on the save button so now i am going back to the home page of oracle fusion so here is an receivables and here is the billing so we will check the template was changed or not so what i will do i will click over here and here is a manage transaction so i can select any type of any transaction source from this transaction source list i am just selecting the contact invoice and clicking on the search button so these are the all the respective transactions i am just clicking any random transaction from there and now i am just clicking on the view image so previously we can see that there was an uh, vision logo but now it is an oracle logo because we had replaced that logo using the oracle logo so by this way we can customize the oracle seeded report okay so this is how to customize the template and if you want to make some changes in the data model so we can click on the data model screen so it will open all the data models over there and you can edit that respect to data model or the query so we can see that this is my data set you can just click on edit and we can change this respective queries by this way we had completed that how to customize the oracle report so if you are having any doubt you can write into the comment section please like share subscribe my channel thank you for watching